Hi friends, in this video we can check how we can provide the SQL constraints in order 15. For that I am just created a module called school management. Inside this module I am just created a form view, a basic form view. Inside this form view we can just see a student ID field. I am providing the unique constraint uh, for this student ID. We can go to the PyCharm. And this is the Python file of this module. So here we can see the uh, student ID. Uh, this is the SQL constraints. I'm just provided in. I'm just provided the um, more field inside this SQL constraints and I provided the unique constraint, the student ID, and the message want to be displayed when this uh, constraint fails or something. And we can check this in uh, the UI. Yeah, currently we can see the record uh, demo and the student ID is AB123. We can create another student with this uh, same student ID. I'm just creating uh, demo one and the student ID is AB123. When I am clicking on the save, we can see the message will be pop up. The student ID must be unique. It will shown in a validation error. This message will be written in the SQL constraints. So we can change this for this way. This is save. This way we can provide the SQL constraints in the order. If we check the Postgres SQL documentation, we can see the constraints here, the check constraints, not null constraint, unique constraint, and the primary key, primary key constraint, the foreign key constraint, and the exclusion constraints. We can uh, provide this all in the SQL constraint section in the auto. We can uh, search these SQL constraints in the source code. We can see the check constraints used here and uh, the check constraint. And here we can see the usage of unique constraints. I hope you got the idea about this. Thank you for watching. Thank you.